Hey guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Darf. Happy Tuesday! How is everybody? Um, we are having a launch today, so my pictures did not upload to my to my um, iPad, so I can't show you here unless I can. Um, maybe I can um, connect with my with my phone. Maybe we'll see. We'll see if we can do that. That would be great to be able to show you those things. But I did post them on the page. Um, there's some really fun ones. So there's some wedding ones and there's some school ones and some sports ones. Um, a couple of the transfers they have brought back to coordinate with all of this, but I think it's going to be, I think they're going to turn out, um, sorry, I got something in my eyeball. Uh, <laughs> they're going to turn out really nice. Uh, I know some of you guys make things for, for people for weddings. Um, I have a friend that does a lot of that stuff, pieces a lot of transfers together, makes a lot of signs for weddings. So these are going to be, these are going to be awesome. She's not going to have to um, do one letter at a time anymore. So anyways, I'm excited for those things. And also for the fact that any order placed today gets a free transfer. And I posted the picture of that. It's super cute. Let's see if I can connect with my phone in just a moment. Um, anyways, if you're watching, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay. We're going to do a spring banner and we're going to do a spring insert for our truck because St. Patrick's Day is over. Easter will be here, um, not this Sunday, but the next. And then we need to have something for spring. So I had been asked, what are you doing for spring? Okay, well, we have this cute little spring one with a birdhouse and has a flower, um, like a um, watering can. <laughs> <laughs> umbrella and some cute little boots so it says hello spring and it says bloom on the license plate and then our banner just says spring with little flowers so it, it will be a fun combination I know it's a lot of painting um we do have have launch excuse me at 8 a.m which it could start early so um if it if I'm not done by then we may just take a break for a moment and place our orders right <laughs> If you want to place your order. So anyway, say hello so I know you're there. Let me just see who's watching this morning. I know that Facebook is not as kind anymore. They don't notify people like they used to, but it's okay. Um, eventually, you can watch it, right? You can watch the replay if you don't see it the first time. Okay, so um, let me share it to VIP really quickly. And so... Um, Okay, there we go. All right, let me see who's here. Hi, Betty, how are you? Hi, Cindy, good morning. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Deb. Um, we need some prayers for my sister. She has a procedure tomorrow. So let's um, let's all pray for my sister, Deb, and that we get good results. So, um, Tony. Hi, Tony, how are you? Happy Tuesday. <laughs> and all those cups of coffee on there are for me. I need them all. <laughs> Hi, Bridget. Hello. I'll take the coffee from you, too. Hi, Hi, Carrie. Good morning. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Karen Ross. Hi, Stephanie. Hello, Tina. Hi, Lucia. Good morning, Sarah. Are you all ready to place your order? Uh, there's some cute stuff. Um, I will. I'm not going to get extras. So if you want them, make sure you get them. I some of them will not be replaced and their surfaces. All right. So, oh, I don't have it here, but you know, the, the honeycomb surface that, oh, I have a small one. Yeah. So, so this small one. Okay. So they're bringing the one that, um, was in with the kit that, that holds a size B transfer. So that will be available. Um, however, it is only until those run out. They're not reordering it. So if you want one of those larger ones you missed out from the kit, get, grab it. Remember, it is reversible, has black and white, and um, you can wash it off. At my craft show, I had my friend Sandy, who was um, working my booth for me, I had her do um, a really cute design on it. I think she did a wine one, which turned out super cute. So I was like, just erase this Christmas one <laughs> and do something different. So they'll have, that's one of the surfaces that is, that's available. So there's a couple of different things. Um, there's an arch that's smaller than the, nor than the other one. There is, we're going to do the oval. Remember the oval that we used to have um, in a kit with the, the um, door sign that had the address? Remember that? It, sorry, I, I guess I got cootie bugs this morning. 
<laughs> um, so that will that surface will be available and then also an arrow okay so I'm thinking the arrow is for the wedding signs like pointing this way um, <laughs> drinks this way I'm um, dancing this way um, ceremony this way so I'm thinking that's what the arrows for I didn't play cl close enough attention last night I was kind of multitasking getting caught up with my bookkeeping paperwork and listening to um, the presentation that was given to us so let me see if I can share from my phone in just a moment <laughs> hi Sylvia <clears throat> sorry <it's> a <coughs> I choke on my own saliva sorry um, yeah, let me take a drink. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Hi, Chris. Let's see here. Um, thank you guys for prayers for my sister. Oh, Cindy, I'm glad you're feeling better. I know a lot of people have been hit by, by different, um, colds and it's just not fun at all. So it seems to last a long time. Hi, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> Sarah, yes, some cute stuff coming. I think so. I, I'm excited about it because it's different. Um, it's different. And then next month, we have a large release. So that that's great. So let's see. Hi, Deborah. Good morning, Pam. Stephanie, there is the replay, but you can just wait and see the, see it on the, on the website. But I'm going to try to share it. So let me see if I can share it. Let me see if it will connect with my phone this morning. We're going to, we're going to try and see if I can share my screen. Um, let me get to my photos. That's of my dog. <laughs> Although you wouldn't probably wouldn't mind seeing, seeing my dog. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to show you guys, but I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not promising. Um, I don't know what's going on with my voice this morning. My voice is not here. Let me see if it will let me. Um, share my screen. Okay, share my screen. Okay, start my broadcast. Um, okay. Hang on a second. It's trying. It's trying to connect. We'll see if it will do it. It's spinning. So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Happy Tuesday. It really is trying to connect, but... I am not sure if it's going to do it. We'll wait just a moment here. Gosh, I don't know why it wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's just spinning. It's not, it's not connecting. Okay, well, stop sharing the screen because it's not working. Okay. That's really weird. Um... I don't know why why it wouldn't do it. Who knows? Okay, let me just kind of show you this way then. Let me just show you from my phone. Okay, so let me put you down to the project. This is our little project. I'll turn it around in a moment, but let me show you from my phone so you can kind of get an idea of what, what it is. All right, so let me see if this is going to work. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Okay. So I just have to get just in the right place and turn it at the right angle. Okay. So there's some of the cute stuff. And is it going to let me just go? Yeah. And different colors. So they did different colors on the wedding stuff and it, it looks really cute. Boho colors. And then those colors. So it kind of gives you an idea. And then there's, oh, there's the transfers. That's hard to see. I know. Super hard to see. But here's some of the cute stuff. Look at this. Look at all the stuff that you could use teachers um, in your child's room. I think that's super fun. There's the transfers. Here's more. Okay, so if you have someone that's on a sports team, kids, grandkids, and you could do fundraisers. Okay. Locker room stuff. Sorry. T-shirts for a fundraiser. Okay. So anyways, that kind of gives you an idea of what's coming. <laughs> 
sorry. You know what? I don't know why it doesn't want to hook up with it, but hey, um, we're, I tried. <laughs> Definitely want the free transfer. Yeah, the free transfer is fun. Let me see if I can get a picture of that on there. Um, that we all want the free transfer. Let me see if I can, can see that. And it's for any order gets this transfer free. Okay, so it will go really cute on the <laughs> it will go really cute on those things over there. Let me go let me go grab them. All right, I have some right here. The coasters. So, I have the coasters. I'll show you. There it's made to go on the coasters. The coasters are a good price. So, here here's what you could do, guys. Purchase the coasters and you get the free transfer. All right. So, so here's the coasters. Okay, there's there's two, four, six coasters in there. So purchase the coasters, you get the free transfer. What a deal, right? Okay, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started on what we need to do with this project. Okay, sorry. Sometimes my, sometimes, you know, my stuff is archaic. It's okay. Hi, Doris, my sister. All right, so we're going to do our insert for our truck. We are doing a spring one. That's super cute. It says Hello Spring. Has little little um, boots and a, a birdhouse, butterfly, watering can, two birds, umbrella. And then this Hello Spring has a little bird and some flowers. Okay, and then we have our garland. So we're going to have to paint these separately, but we're going to be using the same colors. That's why I figured, hey, we're just going to, we are just going to paint it all at once. But I'm going to put that up there and I have the Velcro. Okay, so let's paint this first. We'll bring up our board because I don't think there's going to be, there wouldn't be room because the other stuff, there's so much. Okay, let me move this for a second. Let's bring up our board. So launches this morning at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. 9 o'clock Mountain Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, 11 o'clock, um, no, I'm sorry, 10, not 8, 9, 10, 11, 8 P um, Pacific Time, 9 Mountain Time, 10 Central Time, 11 Eastern Time. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So, Hello Spring. Let's put it over here. And then little flowers and little birdie and then bloom okay so and my thing is still trying to connect with my phone and it still didn't do it I was thinking hey if it all of a sudden connects then I'll just show you from my phone but it didn't it did not okay let me get back to comments so I can see comments um fur babies are doing good yes they are thanks Tony for asking Hi, Karen West. I know, sis. There, Deb, there are a lot of cute things coming. Can't wait. Can't wait to see them. You know, I just like different things. I like I like having a variety. Let me just go right here. Go a little bit smaller so you'll be able to see everything. And it looks like my, my camera might be a little crooked, but I'll just, I'll just move my board. Okay. And then the rest of this, here it comes. Here's the other part. We'll get this painted get it glued together, and then we'll do the garland. Okay, so we can put that up there, that there. We have the little bird house. See, there's there wouldn't have bird room, right, little bit of room for everything. So <laughs> some days I just cannot talk. Um, are you guys that way too? Or is it just me? It might just be me. There's some little spacers, they're tiny, okay? So when you see this, there's going to be these little pieces and you're going to go, what are those? They're the top of the boots. There's just little pieces that, that look like that. Okay. The top of the boot. So, hey, Jill, how are you? Happy Tuesday to you. <laughs> All right. And then another flower. And then each piece of this umbrella is a different color. Super cute. Okay. I'm going to move those. And then we'll get started painting. Okay, so let's just start painting. Let's start with the top part. <clears throat> We're gonna do white. Anything that's white. <laughs> let's let's use white first. Okay, so the flowers are white, and I'm gonna do this part white. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in my palette dish. 
anything exciting happened yesterday to you guys? I didn't have anything exciting. <laughs> Nothing exciting in my life. My my daughter-in-law was not feeling well. I did not do my sale yesterday. Did you notice? I was supposed to do my sale, but my daughter-in-law, my daughter-in-law, um, Tara, was sick. So I was, I was doing everything for the shop yesterday. So I had to make sure that all my orders got out and all my orders got processed, plus along with all my bookkeeping that I was behind on. So yesterday was a little bit crazy for me, guys. Just a little bit. Okay, I need a paper towel. Ooh, I'm almost out of paper towels. Look at, <laughs> I go through so many. Anybody else go through a ton? I'm just a messy person, so I go through a lot. Um, hi, Vicki, how are you? Hey, Laura, good morning. Yep, Deb, you're the same way. Yep. <laughs> All right, okay, so our birdhouse is going to be purple. So I'm gonna do purple, if, and then anything else that's gonna be purple, one of these is gonna be purple. And the, then the words Hello Spring is gonna be purple. So the purple I'm using is purple petal. Let's just put some in here. All right. Now, on the birdhouse, I accidentally cut out all the little holes. See, see how <laughs> sometimes when you're cutting, um, it will do things that you don't expect it to do. <laughs> I cut out the holes instead of just scoring them. But on yours, I fixed I fixed the file. On yours, the little holes will not be cut out. You they will be solid. Okay, so purple petal. Now, if I had a great big area, I would be painting my banner also at the same time, painting whatever needed to be that color. But at least I can use the paintbrush. That's my I that's my idea is hey, I have I have the paintbrushes already um already with paint on them I'm going to use them and I may as well do two projects right <laughs> and if we have to stop to place our order we will stop and place our order um if usually lately they have had everything available like quarter to eight so if when somebody says hey it's all available we might just stop and take a moment and order <laughs> <laughs> okay, this top part here is going to be, let's see, we're going to do it black, okay? And then the base of this is black. What else is black? Oh, the, the um, stem of this is black. So thanks for sprinkling. I appreciate it. Hey, Lori Walsh, how are you? We're going to probably use a lot of palette dishes today, but good thing is we have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot of them. So, oh, in the center of the butterfly. Okay, so... So there's this, there's this little tiny oval that you're gonna go, what is that thing? This little oval like that, that is the center of your butterfly. And I'm sure somebody probably knows what the name of that is. <laughs> Me, I probably knew back in school, but I don't know now. I don't. So let's see. You don't have to be super careful right there because there is a little piece that goes over that. And same with down here. That is going to be covered. What else did I say was black? I think that's it. I think that is it. Okay, keep going, darling. All right, next color, next color. We're just gonna kind of work this way. My butterfly is going to be, um, I'm gonna do it pink, like two different color pinks. I'm gonna do um, cotton candy and dragon fruit. Karen Romanko, are you on here? <laughs> I know how much you love dragon fruit. <laughs> Hello. There's some pink, and, we, and we'll do, we'll do, okay, you know what, the boots are pink, let's do all of our pink. So our pink, this one is cotton candy and dragon fruit. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a little bit in here. So like I said, this is the spring truck insert, and then we will also do this spring garland, because soon, Easter will be over, but spring will still be here. <laughs> spring is just starting, actually, right? Spring just started. Okay, I know that one of these... Oh, let's see. I'm part of the butterfly. The bottom part, let's do the bottom part in the light pink. What else is pink? Um, the, um, do, 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 sorry. <clears throat> Something else is pink, right? Maybe not. Oh yeah, because it's not because the color on here is the is the dragon fruit. Okay, so that's that. That is our cotton candy. Okay, then we're gonna take dragon fruit, 
and do the top part of our butterfly. And I'm gonna kind of just blend that together with my finger, okay? Just, just like we do, like when we do an ombre, I'm just gonna kind of blend that together, okay? Got it, we have to, sometimes we have to finger paint. <laughs> sometimes. Okay, and then one of these is dragon fruit. And then the word bloom is dragon fruit. Okay. So, and oh, and the backer. So that backer is dragon fruit. All right, so let me do that. Let me get my, my color because we need a lot. And oh, and the top of the boots is dragon fruit. I, I guess we really like that color. Okay, so the top of the boots, this is those little tiny pieces that I showed you. Those are dragon fruit, okay? And then this is dragon fruit. So, all right. You know what, guys? Yesterday we had like a freak storm. Yeah, it was a freak storm because it was not, it was not even on the radar. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it actually looked like there was going to be tornadoes outside. So, all of a sudden, um, it just clouded up really dark, and I got an, a notice on my phone that severe th th severe thunderstorms coming, and um, weather, like, it was, like, just a, a warning that, you know, there could be hail. All of a sudden, okay, we didn't get hail. We got a little bit of rain, but guess what? All of a sudden, kaboom, we had, we had, um, Thunder and lightning, just one, one great big one, one great big one. That was all that we had, and it actually started a fire. <laughs> it started a fire in um, someone's front yard that is just like a block and a half from me. So I knew it hit close because right outside my door was like the flash of light was like so bright, and also um, it shook my shook my my room. <laughs> It shook my room and um, my dogs, my dogs started barking. So it was crazy. It was crazy. So a fire, I'm going to look and see what you guys are commenting. I asked you what you were doing and I didn't look. Um, Cheryl said, went to Home Depot yesterday and got a sample size of dragon fruit. Awesome. Um, you go through it so fast. That's cool. I know, I know it's on sale right now, right? Uh, how did you get it at Home Depot? Yeah, you just have it color matched. Yep, they do color matching. So sometimes they do a great, great job. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'm disappointed with what they do, but a lot of times the color matching is really, really good. So yeah, some some people go through uh, go through colors a lot, or if they have classes, they will buy paint in bulk and they will put it in those squeeze bottles. I don't do that because I just I just buy my paint like this. <laughs> I I just buy my paint in the small bottles. But if I couldn't find the color anymore, I probably would go have it color matched. Okay, so this is crystal blue. All of our little birdies are going to be crystal blue. Now I need to do the center of my flowers. What color am I? Oh, yellow. Okay, so when we get to yellow, we will do that. All right, so this is going to be painted green. Let me get out some green. My green that I'm going to use is my pistachio mint. One of these is going to be pistachio mint, and then we're going to use yellow, and we'll do the center of our flowers yellow. And then this is actually all done. I'm not going to ink the edges. I want it to be nice and crisp for spring. I'm just going to leave it that way. All right, so pistachio mint, and then I have enough on my brush to do one of the little umbrella, little slices, <laughs> pieces. Okay, and then we'll do yellow. And I'll have to put some yellow in here because I'm going to do the center of the flowers. Okay, and then all the painting on this one is done. We can assemble it. Like I said, I'm not going to shade all the edges. I'm going to just kind of leave that. Okay, what was, okay, this is yellow. All right. Um, they aren't on sale now. Oh, they're not. Okay, so um, they were on sale recently. Okay, so you could order them online and it might, maybe it was last week. So I know sales usually go week to week. So maybe, darn, you missed it. Because I, I saw pictures of what people had purchased. And they they got like dozens and dozens of colors. And they did it through, they did it through the mail. 
And I was like, how did you do that? I don't know. Maybe they just got things that were close enough to what they, what they had. Because you can't color match through the mail. So maybe they were just buying basic colors. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't do that. I would want to go in person. Okay, there's the centers of those. Now we can just dry and I think we're good. Maybe the top of my the top of my boots might need just a little touch up. Maybe right here. I was trying to be really careful and not go all the way up onto the black, which I did. I'm going to have to touch that up just just a little bit. There is there is the little top part on there. Okay, did I miss anything? I think I'm good. Okay, let's dry. Oh, I have to do the eyeballs. Okay, so I have to do the eyeballs. Um, hello. Hello, scammer. Um, so let me get that person off of here. Why is it not showing up on here? It is not showing up on the thing here. Um, let me just go out and back in. Do you guys see the comment there? <laughs> It's not showing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, person, you are banned from my page. There we go. You are out of here. <laughs> no scammers. I hate that. Um, what is the purple color? It was purple petal. Okay, let's do, I need to do the eyeball. Forgot the eyeball on the beak. Can do that right now. So, you know, you guys, if you ever have a um, Shopify website and you have somebody say, hey, I looked at your website and I love what you're doing, but I can help you, don't fall for it. They will steal your page and or steal your website. Don't fall for it. They are not there to help you. They are there to take advantage of you. Honestly, I, I see it all the time. And so... I, I don't even talk to them. I don't even say no thank you anymore. I just ban them. I delete. I delete their message. I get messages all the time. That was the first one that I got during a Facebook Live like that. But um, I just immediately ban them. Do not trust people like that. They are only out to take your money, honestly. So, um, it says on the label, what? Okay, it doesn't say on the label, what did you do to me? You didn't see either. Um, oh, yeah, I, I deleted it really quickly. So it was just a scammer on there. <laughs> I saw it pop up. I went to my phone. Yeah, I know. You can never be too careful, honestly. So I, I just delete them. I ban them. I actually ban them so that they can't be on my page at all. So, hey, Virginia, how are you? I, I'm just fast about it. I, I keep an eye on it. That's that's why I am always looking at comments. Besides just wanting to interact with you guys, I am always looking at comments because you don't want things like that on there and you don't want people to click on them and then, boom, they take advantage of you. So I'm, I'm looking out for you guys also. Okay, we're going to glue this together. This is for our truck. And then we're going to do the garland. It's only 7.08, so probably by 7.15, we'll have this glued together. The garland will go really fast because it's just big pieces. I'm trying to get the centers of those flowers done without having them poof up. <laughs> so just keep your heat gun moving. You can use a hair dryer or just let it dry on its own. If you're, if you're painting, you don't have to do this. I never did this before. We would just go on to another project. We'd be working several projects at a time. And we had little slots that we put all of our stuff in. When we painted ornaments, we'd just be painting like several different things. And we just go from tray to tray to tray and just um, move things. Okay, let's kind of assemble this. Oh, guess what? I have to paint behind here. So I, I totally forgot that. I have to paint where the holes are going to be. Let me just do that really quickly because um, they're gonna everything's gonna show through. <laughs> totally forgot. So the the hole, the circle, and then also because I accidentally cut out all those little tiny holes. <laughs> so funny, guys, huh? So funny. Oh my goodness. So I, ha I have something exciting that's going to happen, and I can't really talk too much about it, but um, the, the 
the person that has been really, really helping me look for Chloe, um, we talked yesterday about the fact that something needs to be done about this, guys. When when they when an animal goes into the vet to be seen, they need to scan for a chip. So there's many reasons for that. So that animal could have been found and that person just kept it. That that person might have just purchased the animal, but it was stolen. And the person that sold it to them um, was not the owner. Um, the other reasons are that, that that dog might already have a chip on it from a previous owner. <laughs> and it might be confusing. Oh, guess what? I didn't paint. You guys, what is wrong with me? <laughs> let's paint our cute little, let's paint our water can. Oh my goodness. So why didn't you tell me? <laughs> why didn't you tell me guys? All right. Um, gray. So we're going to use slate gray. So, so here's what happened the other night when, when there was a possible, a possible dog that might be Chloe. So I called, um, they, the lady couldn't keep it. So she took it to a rescue that I'm familiar with down in Imperial Valley. It was very close to where, um, Chloe went missing. And I was talking about, hey, I was told by the Humane Society that chips can come out. And he goes, I've never seen that happen. But here's something that, that happened. He And I might have told you this yesterday. But there he had a Boston Terrier that has two microchips and a tattoo on his belly. And none of the owners has come forward. So, so he has a dog that has three different owners at, at three different times. And none of them are coming forward for the animal, but that's a problem. So it's a problem that vets are not, not scanning before they're inserting a microchip or tattooing an animal. So a, a, micro, a microchip can be transferred. You don't have to, you do not have to, and I think I'm going to go right to the edge with the pink on that. You do not have to get a new tr new microchip each time. The microchip, when you sell a dog, you can transfer ownership to the person that you sell it to. So you, so you can just transfer it. So you don't put a new microchip in there because that's too confusing. When they find an animal and there's a couple of microchips, it's really super confusing. So we're talking about doing this, um, creating what's called Chloe's Law. And for right now, it would just be in California, but where it is required, it is required. So, so guys, um, who, who, who would be behind me? Um, my California friends, who would be behind me and would sign? Cause we're going to need to get signatures and it's going to be a long process. It probably would take, it probably wouldn't go on the ballot until, until next year, but, um, we are going to do this and, People that are groomers and rescues and um, vet offices, they would be required every time an animal is seen to scan that animal for a chip. Required. Required to do it. And also, when you sell an animal, um, the, the chip would need to be transferred to the other person within seven days. Okay, so required by law. So that is what we're going to be working on. And it's pretty exciting to me. Guess what? I didn't do the top of that. I am missing so many things today. <laughs> I thought this was such an easy project. Um, okay. okay, so isn't that kind of, kind of exciting? So who would, I know, can you imagine that they do not, they do not scan. Hi, Wanda, how are you? They do not scan animals. That are brought in. So when someone even even they didn't scan Sophie as far as I know, because my granddaughter said, I don't know, it doesn't show that she was scanned. So my husband brought her in and said, Hey, we we have this this stray and we need to get shots and all of that, but they didn't scan her. So they should have scanned her and they could have said, Oh hey, she she's been reported lost. So it would reunite so many more animals with their owners. So we are going to do this. It's going to take a lot of time. We know that it's going to be a lot of hard work and 
we we actually have no clue what we're doing <laughs> but but i know that it's possible i know that's possible and i'm always up for a challenge so me and my friend are going to um we're going to accept that challenge and we're going to do it for chloe so what do you think guys i think it's pretty awesome i i feel like with all of my um my Facebook presence that I'll be able to get a lot of people to sign that. Um, I don't know how many signatures you need to have, but it would be just California. And then maybe at some point we would expand through all the U.S., but our first goal is California. Okay, so I'm going to take these off and then we're going to glue these together and then they can be drying while we do the banner. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, definitely would be a great idea. So, um, anyways it would be called Chloe's Law which you know I mean I, I just have to accept I mean I, I I won't give up looking for her but I have to accept the fact that there's probably somebody out there that's just keeping her otherwise we would have found her by now right we would have found her by now where we would have found while we were out looking we would have found her body um the coyotes don't eat everything you know they take the best part. They they really don't eat everything. So we feel like we would have found her. So somebody has her and is just choosing to keep her. Now, if their groomer or their vet would scan her and see that, hey, this dog is missing and go, wait, what, wait a second. Let's contact the people that reported this dog missing because you are not the owner. Um, then we would get her back, right? So we want to save lots of people heartache and help help reunite people with their animals and the fact that i mean every animal should have a microchip and there are places that it's free to register the microchip did you know that a lot of places charge like home again charges the first year is free and then after that they charge but um there are places that it's free you just go on just go on and do a search because i bet you I bet you if if half of you guys looked up your microchip, it is not active right now as far as um, the, the, like if you're with home again and you didn't sign up for the yearly, then your microchip is not registered at the moment. So I found that. So when I went on, Marley's is not registered. Marley's never got put on there. So I am, I'm working on hers. And so guys, I called, I called the vet office and said, Hey, can you give me Marley's microchip? And they go, well, we suggest that you bring her in to make sure that microchip is still working. I'm like, hello, what? Bring her in because the microchip might not be working. They go, yeah, let's, let's just confirm it. And I'm like, okay, she needs shots. So she's going in for shots on Thursday and they will confirm that her microchip number that they have on file is the right one and because they could input it wrong, right? They could they could tell me the wrong number and then if she got lost, then we wouldn't find her. So, okay, let's take this apart and do like a little bit of time. There are spacers, okay? So I'll show you where those spacers go. So if you have animals, make sure that your microchip is registered because the the first year is usually free. After that, it costs money. So that makes sense that why some people, their dog is not registered or it says no microchip sometimes because it costs money to do all that. Um, let me look and see. Um, especially how often the franchises are still. Yes, exactly. How will you have people sign? It will be online. So Betty, it'll be online. I think it will take six months or more to, to um, get that part ready. And I think that we have to have a congressman that's going to take it take the um, the bill um, to to wherever <laughs> you guys I pulled it up I googled it and I was like is this what we need to do and it's like step by step so we need to find a congressman that is an animal advocate that will help us and we'll get this through the process that 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 will um, understand our passion and our reasoning for wanting to do this so it will be online 
um, you've always thought she got snapped up. Yeah, I thought so too. And then somebody sold her. Exactly. Exactly. That is what I think too, because there, we haven't seen any side of her. However, she is a runner. So if she was snapped up and she gets out again, so there's always a chance that, that she could escape from them because they might not know that she's a runner. I mean, that, that is my thing. It's like, Chloe, if you're out there at someone's house, run, baby, run. <laughs> That's what I always, I've kind of uh, thought to myself. She just needs to escape again. So, and then the person that finds her needs to have her scanned. People need to be trained that the, fir the very first thing to do when you find an animal is to have them scanned for a, a microchip because that's the easiest way to get them home. Um, social media is great, but um, having them scanned is, is like the number one way to get them home if they are chipped, okay? And, and it's so important. In a lot, of, a lot of places, it is free microchip day certain, certain um, months, okay? So I know there's some going on. I think it was in Arizona right now. There's free microchip going on. So make sure you do it. Make sure that, you know, all your animals have it. I We will be having Sophie um, scanned and get a new market chip. She actually, actually goes back next week. So I was waiting. We were kind of waiting because we didn't know somebody's going to come forward and say, hey, that's my dog. Okay, there's our little birdie with the little wing. This is going to be so cute on the truck. And I, and I purposely did not do any shading on here because I wanted to show you how easy it is and that you don't have to do that to make it cute, okay? So you could do all kinds of shading. You could use your white pen. Um, you can do as much or as little, guys, as you want and make it your own. You can do all different colors. You don't have to do these bright colors. Our banner is going to match this, though. So we're going to use the same colors on the banner. And it's going to be super cute. Did you notice behind me that I have my my little bunny that we made? I don't know if you can even see it above my head. Probably can't. Probably it's probably um out of view. Well, I'm in the corner, so you can't see it right now, anyways. But the little gnome, the gnome bunny. I need to change it to the other side so you can see it because I have the little ears on it. Okay, here's the, here's our little flower. So you have a monthly flea market, and the number of stolen dogs goes up during that weekend. The number of dump puppies, oh my gosh, that's terrible. Um, yours is a runner. Yeah, definitely. You need to do that. The local shelter that put it in didn't say anything about registering it. Yes, you have to go online and register it. So what you're going to do is um, you can go to your vet and have it scanned, okay? Any vet will scan it, and then they'll tell you. So like mine is through home again. And so they'll tell you who the who the um, manufacturer of that chip is. Okay, let's let's let this dry before we put it into our truck. Okay, so let's bring our banner. We're gonna do our banner now. We still have time. <laughs> we still have time. Okay, the banner will paint up pretty quickly because it's just you know big pieces. Okay, we're gonna move this up here so it can dry, and then we'll put it into our truck. Okay, so let's stack these. So I try to educate you guys on these things because because of my tragedy, there will be some good that comes out of it. Okay, so there will be good things that come out of us losing us because I feel like all of us lost Chloe. You guys were all really close to her. You know, I've, I've received so many messages. Your dog is a rescue. She was found in a box at a flea market. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, exactly. It is so sad. Um, the banner is really cute. The banner is really cute. Okay, so let's start with, let's get the back parts. We're going to get them up here and then like that. And then we'll put, we probably can put it lower. All right, so the, so let's do this. All right, I think, I think it's going to fit across. If not, if it doesn't, I'll put one across the top if I can't get everything in here. Okay, so we're going to try because it might not be quite wide enough. Yep. You know, you never know when, when somebody's selling an animal, you just don't know. I'm looking up to see. Um... Okay. So if you have questions about that whole thing, about, about your chip, you're going to go to your vet. 
and ask them, can you please scan my dog for its chip? And then you'll get the number and you register it. Okay, I am gonna have to put one up here, but that's okay. We'll put the, we'll put the N up here. There we go, and here's our G. Okay, perfect. Perfect. My stomach is starting to growl. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> and maybe I shouldn't have done that. We're going to have to swap that because my thinking is going to be that I need to do it in order. Okay, so we're going to do <laughs> all of these. Yeah, I hear my stomach grumbling. It's it's growling. Let's do all the white. So all this back pieces, all of the back pieces are white. So let's do white. We know that white always needs to have two coats. Okay, so let's do let's do our white. Um, that's probably enough. And I do have a white paintbrush over here. So I have all my paintbrushes for all of these colors. Hopefully I didn't get too much. I can put, I can put some of the paint back if I got, if I got way too much guys, it's, it's possible. It's possible that I got overzealous and <laughs> cause that, cause that looks like a lot of paint on the one next to me. Okay. So now I'm just going to go down. I need new tape on here, but I actually don't have any tape in here or I would have swapped it out. Okay, so usually, usually this will keep things from moving. It's not doing its job because I've used this board so much. Okay, I'm just taking a little bit back. Yeah, yes, I am. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so that part, back part's white. And then we're gonna do, the letters are also white. Oh, so I can share with that. Okay, so that will be good. <laughs> the letters will be white also. So um, there, there's several online things. I actually have have Chloe's microchip registered with a couple of other companies on purpose. So there's several U.S. companies that are free to register it. And then when your dog is missing, they will put out notices to all the vets in the surrounding areas in this um, like 50 miles. So I, I did that on purpose to, to register the chip with multiple, um, multiple places because that to get the word out, it doesn't mean that she's registered to different people or anything like that. It's just her chip is registered through different, um, online places. So they helped me search. And one of them, I, I paid, like, I think it was $9.99 to get them to send out like 50, um, 50 miles around the area where she was lost again. So I had this done in the very beginning, but Hey, it doesn't hurt now to refresh their, their memories because Chances are she probably is within 50 miles of there at someone's house or someone knows and has seen the dog. So um, usually people take a dog to a vet to get shots. Most people do, but not everyone. Or if a dog is injured, they would take it to the vet at some point. Okay, so let's do the letters white. I might have enough on my paintbrush. <laughs> I do have some white over here in my tray if I need some white. Okay, I will definitely get new tape before we use this again. Okay, and then all these are gonna be different colors and the flowers are different colors. So, yeah, it's really important to keep up with that. I actually went on and it wasn't costing me anything, but I I had like George, I they were inactive. So, so my other dogs were inactive on the registry because um, I hadn't paid the monthly fee. So their names were still there, but um, they were just inactive. Okay, first color is going to be my dragon fruits. Uh, switch your I and your R. Spe oh yeah, thank you. I know because I want them to be, I want to paint them in the right order. Thank you. Um, just because, because of the colors that I'm picking, um, I want to make sure that they're all the right. Thank you. <laughs> I will take all the help that I can get because you know how I am. All right, there we go. Uh-oh, did you hear that? Scrapping. My dogs are just scrapping out there. <laughs> Hi, Denise, how are you? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to paint this dragon fruit. And then one of these flowers will be dragon fruit. So the one on the end. So that's why I needed it to be the right way. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dragon fruit. Miss Karamaka, where are you? Did you sleep in today? 
<laughs> oh. All I remember is that dragon fruit is really expensive for her to get. And I remember sending her some. <laughs> because she just loves that color. It's her favorite. Okay, next is... Oh, I have to do the flower. Okay, so this flower is going to be this color. All the, all the centers are going to be white, I think. Yeah. Okay, my next color is purple. All right, so this was dragon fruit. Purple is purple petal. Your, um, your grand. Oh, as well. That's so funny. Dragon fruit is always expensive. Is it really? I wonder why. That's crazy. <laughs> Hi, Laura. How are you, my friend? Hope all is going well over there for you. My life's a little crazy. Just got done with my craft shows. I am done for a while. And probably won't have one until June. But um, it has been, it's been a good season. I'm just finishing up the one that I just was in charge of. So I still have stuff to do. <laughs> I still have all the things to finish up. Get all the rest of my totals. Let's see, which one is yellow for, uh, on the S. Okay, so our R is yellow. So this yellow is sunny day. And then the little flower that's on the S is going to be yellow. I'm sorry if my stomach's growling. <laughs> I must be hungry. You know, I really didn't eat dinner last night. I had, what did I have for dinner? Oh, I did. I kind of did. I had, I had a hamburger patty um, with um, cheese, pickles, and ketchup. But that was it. That was all I had. Okay, next color is our green. Okay, so our green, um, give a good feeling. Yes, exactly. I know. Um, it is a good feeling to not have craft shows for a while. But also, I'm like, I'm so lost. I need to be working on product. <laughs> I was lost last night. I didn't work on product. It was like the first night that I didn't work on product in a very long time. And I'm like, okay, what do I make? So my next craft, craft show will be June. So I need to have patriotic stuff and summer stuff and everyday stuff. So I will be starting to work on things like that. Yeah, you know, you just always you feel, I can't wait to have a break. And then you have a break and you're like, I should be doing something. <laughs> I should be doing something. What, what am I supposed to be doing? You know, we just don't give ourselves a break as crafters. So... Oh, you got all your goodies. Hey, Jeanan. Um, do you have a list of colors that you use on certain projects? I do not. I don't have any lists at all. You would need to go to the videos, and each video will tell you the colors. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, what, um, that's what you would have to do. I don't make lists because it would just be too difficult to do that. So most people go back and they watch the video as they're painting. Um, and they, and then a lot of people just want to choose their own colors. So that's another reason too, is that most people will sit there, um, like people that are watching right now, um, a lot of them, if they intend to purchase the project, they're writing down the colors right now. Um, I know several of you do that <laughs> and several of you will ask me if I didn't tell you what color, like this is aqua sky. Nope, this is not. This is crystal blue. This is crystal blue. I had to look because so I was like, wait a second. Is it? Is it not? Okay, and then this flower is crystal blue. And then our last color is going to be cotton candy. So I I don't keep a list. I have colors that I use over and over and over. So you will see that most of my spring things that I've made have used all these same colors. I kind of stick in the same line. So this is cotton candy. The, the green was, was, what was the green? Pistachio mint, crystal blue is the blue, sunny day is the yellow, the purple is purple petal, the bright pink is dragon fruit. Okay, so let me go ahead and I do need to put a second coat of white on because white is very transparent. I know, I love the blues those both of those so um let's see who said they can't get they can't get 
The dragon fruit. I can always try to pick some up for you guys and add them to your order. Just let me know because I find it here quite often. My Michaels has it. Yeah, I, but I'll have to look. So I'm promising you, but then I'm going, okay, well, I just have to look. I might also have extras. So when, when I found it, I have bought extras just to have, but some, one of us, one of us can get it for you. Just reach out. There's several of us that would be more than happy. I know, I know Cheryl probably is asking where you live because if you're close to where she is, you know, or, you know, some of us would just be more than happy to find some for you because we want you all to have the right colors that you want to use. But there are colors that would be, that would work fine. So the other color that I would use on this, if I couldn't find that, the other color that I was going to use was this one right here that is wild berry. So wild berry would have been really cute. If you couldn't find dragon fruit, wild berry would have been perfect. Okay, let me go ahead and get all this. Yeah, these aren't going to stay down. <laughs> my tape, my tape is like so worn out on these boards. And honestly, you only need the edges because the center part is going to have the center of this. Okay, 736. All right. I'm trying to get this done in time so you guys can all place your orders this morning easily. Or if you see that, well, we don't even have to stop because it's not like anything's going to sell out today. But any order that you place today, you will get that free transfer. So if you're not planning to place an order, go on and order the cute little... Where are they? I want to show you. Order these right here, your coaster set, and then you get the transfer that goes on the coaster set. Okay. I bet they're going to have a ton of people doing just that because every single order today only gets that free transfer. So why not place a small order or if you need a lot of stuff, place a big order. And Perks members, remember, you get 30% off now on everything, okay? So Perks members get 35, 30, 30% 30 off on everything. If you're not a Perks member, you can join today and you will get your 30% your 30 off on the order. And most likely you would get your $20 in um, design dollars right away. It, that usually is happening like right away. So it costs $20 to be a Perks member. You get $20 back and you get to order and get 30% off of everything, everything, everything. <laughs> you can't get open water from, from another project. Oh, but you found some other blues. Yes. Sometimes you just have to uh, substitute. Has anybody heard that Hobby Lobby has been sold and will not have crafting supplies anymore? No, um, I have not heard that. I don't think that's true. Um, but I do know that um, Joams is going through a um they're going through chapter 11 bankruptcy so they're going to be closing some of their stores but not all of them um i heard they're getting all the bed bath and beyond stuff oh that's interesting okay new milestones are now on this site okay thank you thank you if anybody wants to order you just grab it right now but it's going to be there Let's see. I'm looking back at through videos you guess you missed it what spring one is this i'm looking for the hello spring tiered tray um yes so just search just do a search when you go in there you can go to the search bar and that's what i do when i have to find it um you will just do a search for that name of that because that's what i name it this is the spring garland and the spring truck insert so you would just go in and in the little where the little magnifying glass is you would just search for that video because I named them all that. You could also go to my YouTube channel and search for it. It's super easy to do it there. But um, the name, the name of the video is always um, you are always able to search it because the only times that that things might not be called that is if I had technical difficulties that morning. I was like, screw it, <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna do call it take two you know there are some times when I've just called it take two so this the spring tier tray should be in there okay let me go ahead and dry this however I will I will look and make sure I mean there is a possibility I haven't done it yet so 
I'll take a look and see if I haven't done it yet, then I'll have it coming up this week. I don't remember if I, I don't remember if I have done it. Maybe that's why you can't find it. <laughs> but I'll take a look and I'll see and I'll let you know. So, and I'm going to research that and see what Hobby Lobby um, is doing. I have a friend that actually works there. So my friend that worked my booth, she works at Hobby Lobby and she did not say anything about that. She would probably tell me. She would tell me if there's going to be big sales like that. <laughs> She would let me know for sure. Okay, I want to make sure that the centers of those flowers are dry, but I don't want them to bubble up, so I'm trying to be really careful about that. And there's not ribbon between these, it's only Jude. So only Jude is holding it together. Make sure those flowers. The sides of the flowers. Come on, you can try. Okay, I think we're good enough. I think we're good enough. Um, no, there's more than two new transfers today. There are a lot of new transfers today. So let me look and see what, what's loaded. Sometimes it takes a little bit to load. Going to birthday breakfast for your daughter. She's 26. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy since you're only 21. That's so funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will make sure that I've done that one. You never know. Let me look and see what it's showing. Sometimes, sometimes everything doesn't load at once. It takes a while for it to load. It should be in the new, I'll, I'll drop the link there for you guys. It will be in the new category. So you go to, you go to the lookbook and then you go to, um, oh, it actually, let's see, shop and then what's new. I'll drop the link for you guys. So there's new chalk paste. So there's, um, there's called squeeze and there's fresh. So, so squeeze is Kind of an orangey color. Is it coming up? <laughs> you know what? It's not loaded, so it says it's no longer available. It is available. Don't don't freak out, guys. Um, sometimes it takes a while to load. Okay, so um, so they're there, but give us some time. Don't be in such a hurry. There are more than there are more than two new transfers. There are probably about twelve new transfers from my from what I was. Estimating, okay, copy, come on, you can do it, copy. Okay, I'm gonna drop it into the page here so that you'll know where to go to um, to shop, paste right there. Okay, that's where all the new stuff is. Okay, perfect. All right, there's, there's the link. <laughs> Yours just loaded, you keep refreshing. Yes, okay, so I know that it takes time. So just be patient. If it says that it's not available, don't panic. That doesn't mean it's sold out that quickly. There's only been one time that we've had that happen, and that was on the, the bunny um, the bunny cutouts when I was in Dominican Republic. And the bunny cutouts came and, got, and went in, like, seconds. They learned a lesson from that, guys. Okay, that's going to go there. I'm just going to put it down for now so that I can stack all these and we'll glue together. All right, so yeah, I'm not in a hurry to order. I will order when I'm done here. But if you guys need to, that is absolutely fine. Do what you gotta do. Okay, let me move my board and we're gonna glue together. And then we, oops, sorry. We just have jute to string this together. If you wanna put ribbon in between, that's fine. But I didn't have, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> that center wasn't dry. <laughs> The center stuck. They're probably all going to be like that. That's funny. Okay. I might have to just touch up. Yeah. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. You guys. Yeah. All, all the centers are kind of sticking. That one's not. <laughs> They're sticking to the bottom. Where, where is it? Okay. I only have one that kind of has an oopsie. I will fix that. Well, hello. What are we doing in here? Did you push that door open? You know what? You are so silly. Come here. You're a mop. You're getting a haircut on Thursday. Say hello, Miss Riley. You are just so funny. Oh, I love you, baby girl. She's such a little love bug. She's like, she's snooping around. She pushed the door open. 
Well, hello, Annie. Hi. Come here. She's more shy. Annie's more shy. She's like, nope. You're going to make me go up on that camera. <laughs> and I don't want to. There we go. Say hi. Say hi. My name's Rayleigh. Oh, hello, Miss Annie. Annie's like, I want up to. <laughs> Annie and Riley, you two are so funny. They tumble around. They're, I, I hear them doing zoomies all the time. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, babies? Oh, I love you too. I do. Okay, I love you. All right, let me put you down. Okay, don't get into trouble. Don't go pull stuff out of my boxes. No, you do not get those Easter eggs. That's not for you. <laughs> aren't they so funny hey I love you but you know what you know what guys <laughs> you need to not get into stuff you need to not get into stuff let me put this up here hello down at my feet don't be eating stuff off the ground okay I was gonna fix this <laughs> aren't they hilarious they are so fluffy they get their hair cut on Thursday because they're they're just a mop so they'll get their first pu puppy cut and I'll be going, oh, all their beautiful fur is gone, but it's okay. It's okay. It happens with all of them. It was the same way with Miss Chloe when she got her first haircut and I was like, can't you just leave it? And they're like, you know what? It's not, it's not that easy. So S-P-R-I-N-G. <laughs> there we go. Guys, I, I'm going to get this right. I promise. Okay. So let me just start gluing. Let's glue all of this stuff together. And then we'll just put some jute. We're just gonna string jute in between. Like I said, if you wanna do ribbon, that's absolutely fine. If you wanna do beads, I just didn't have enough to go around for everybody. And, and so I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do jute this time. And it's a fairly long one. So I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, that's gonna go right there on the S. How cute is that? These are just so cute. <laughs> so they're, you know, they're, they're so fuzzy. The thing is they don't sit there and pant. Hey, hello. Hello over there. That is my light. Hey, hey, what are we doing? Hello. Hey babies. You need to not get in stuff. <laughs> I could just see them get stuck in the cord. You know how dogs kind of panic if, if something gets wrapped around them? And then there goes my ring light, um, <laughs> which is one of my cameras, which would not be good. Okay, so that just goes, these just, the little flowers just go on there, okay? What we'll do is we'll assemble the truck. We'll let this dry for a second, and then we'll string this together. How about that? Because um, these do need to dry for just a touch before we put them together. There's that. Hello, babies, out of there. Can we can we not do that, please? Hey, hello. Oh, no, don't do that. Come here, let's put you out. Come here, let's go outside, let's go out. Come on, go out, go out, please. Go, 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 thank you. <laughs> I will shut my door securely. Now, if they open it after that, then I'm going to be worrying that they actually do know how to open it. You know how some dogs will, will actually jump off on a doorknob? I don't think they can do that. But <laughs> if they open it now, then I'm going to be a bit worried. Okay, there's my eye. I'm making sure that it's lined up. Make sure the holes are lined up. Guys, you don't want to have it be off. Okay, there's the eye. These are already over on the website. Okay, so um, if you want to purchase, they're already there. If you're ready to purchase some transfers, so there's some really cute wedding ones, there's school ones, and there are sports ones. So what they did with the sports ones, they did carry over um, some of the sports ones from before to go with it because it just co coordinated so well that they they thought that they would do that and I think that there's one of the wedding ones that they did that also and the wedding ones they're going to keep all the time because they feel like people need that stuff and when it goes bye-bye then we're sad because we you know we might not need to do it for a wedding now and we're like oh I don't need that but you know three months down the road your your niece is getting married and asks you to make some signs and you're like dang I should have got that they're going to keep the wedding transfers they call it they're going to 
consider them evergreen and they're going to keep them there for us, which is great because you just never know when you're going to have to create something for a wedding. Okay, there's that. Let's just set this to the side for un momento and let's do our, look at how cute that is, guys. This is super cute. Let's do our truck. Let's put our truck together. Um, funny, this isn't the replay. Yeah, I'm still live. <laughs> I am still live I, because this project is taking longer. So let's do our little truck. We're going to take off the St. Patty's Day part. Okay. St. Patty's Day is over. We're going to save this for next year. All right. And I'm going to put that up on my shelf. <laughs> and we're going to slide this in. So this is what we made earlier. So here's the cute little spring one. It just slides right in there. Okay. Sometimes you might have to lift that little little part of the fence. My, mine's a little warped. Okay, now these pieces, here's how you do this, okay? So it has a Velcro. Okay, so you so this is the prickly side. You're gonna open this up and you are going to put the fuzzy side onto there. All right, so you don't use the center one. I've tried to pull it up off of there because um, it confuses people. You don't use the center one. It doesn't need it. So, so the fuzzy side goes down onto the prickly part and then it's sticky there, okay? So this is how you get it all lined up, is you're gonna do this. And then you can toss this other half. You're not gonna need that other half. Okay, that can go bye-bye. And then you're just going to put this right here. Here's the tailgate. And just press down. So you're pressing down to get that Velcro to stick to that so you can pull that off and then those pieces are right there. Okay, so that's why I do it this way. Okay, same with this. The bloom is a license plate. It's gonna go right there. And then you're gonna be able to pull that off. Guess what, it didn't, it wasn't, I didn't press down. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't press down. Make sure you press down hard. I'm like, what happened? Okay, so look how cute that is. This is so cute. All right, let's, let's um, do our little garland and then I'll put you up to myself. All right, so easy peasy. Make sure everything is still lined up. S-P-R-I-N-G. Okay, like that. And then, um, yep, here's the jute. Okay, so that's in front of my light. Let me move it. Okay, so your jute, you're going to take it and you're going to do this. You're going to tie like a little slip knot in the end. So you make a loop and then you kind of feed that inside of itself to make the little holder, this is how, how you're going to hang it. So you want this on both ends. Okay. So, so there's the first one. And then you can kind of trim that down. Just trim it down a little bit, not too short, but tr make sure you, you trim the right piece, not the long piece. And then we're going to just string this all together. So it's super easy to do. If you want to, you can actually do um, some tape on the end of this. If it starts if it starts to get frayed out, okay, so you're going to go down. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to show you how to make that, that shoelace end. So get some blue painter's tape. I know, oh, that's great. Lots of com compliments on your decor. That is awesome. I love that. Okay, you're going to take a piece of blue painter's tape. We're going to make like a shoelace end, okay, and you're going to roll it. Roll them, roll them, roll them. You're going to make a little shoelace end. And then you're going to cut that end off and that way it's going to thread through the hole. Did you see what I did? I just rolled the tape around it. So now we have this shoelace type end that's going to easily go through the holes. Okay. So you're going to go down and then you're going to go up. Okay. And we're going to do this for the entire little project down and then up. And there's going to be like little jute, uh, like little pieces of the fiber. <laughs> from pulling that or you can also pull it this way and then I leave maybe half an inch in between when it's something like this I don't leave a lot okay there's that one and then you can always adjust it before you tie the end part you can always adjust it you can go all the way down and then all the way up it's probably easier to do that okay and then all the way down. Isn't this cute? I love all these colors. They're so fun. I'll have to hang this behind me. 
<laughs> I'll have to do that because Easter is is coming soon and will be gone. And then I have to change out my stuff behind me. Okay, all the way down and then up. All right. And then all the way down. Okay, my G, my G has moved on me. Let me just fix the G. It's not completely dry yet. There we go. Okay. So if any of your letters moved or your little panels of the the colored part moved, make sure that you fix it before it dries. <laughs> Don't want anything crooked. I'm going to I'm going to look at them and go, are they okay? Okay, so make sure there's like about a half an inch in between and then you're going to tie your little end, so make your loop and then you're going to just, the loop just goes in itself, just basically just goes around. So you just make your little slip knot basically like that, okay? And then you're gonna trim that, okay? So that's how that goes. All right, let me put you up to myself. <laughs> and then you guys can go place your orders <clears throat> on the new stuff if you need to order, okay? All right, so here's our cute little truck. I love the cute little truck. And then here is our garland. How fun is that? Spring. And I didn't even get the, the letters out of order. Because <laughs> you know that can happen. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I know the project was a little bit long. But sometimes sometimes it has to be. All right. Go, go order your stuff that you need to order. And I'm going to go do the same. I'll post a picture of this. My glasses are sliding down my nose. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for being here.